Hello again and welcome. I'm back again to go over with you yet another technique taught by Jose Silva. This is the three fingers technique. This technique is specifically a memory recall technique. Or to put it another way, it is a technique that is a trigger mechanism that reminds you of something you have programmed before. As the story goes, when Jose Silva was first starting to understand the power of alpha brainwaves, he wanted a mechanism that would help instantly induce a level of mind where recall of information would be easier. He initially tested out the three fingers technique when working with his children and got amazing results. He found that by simply using this technique, his children immediately performed better on their exams. Before we jump into the specific steps involved with this technique, I want to mention that this technique wasn't specifically covered in the Mind Valley Silva Ultramind course. It was mentioned briefly, but wasn't covered in much detail, but it was covered in the Silva Mind Control Method book. I've been playing around and testing this technique myself and have found it to be a good one to have in your tool belt. It was noted in the book that this technique, like all of them, improves in effectiveness the more you use it. As I mentioned previously, this technique works as a trigger mechanism for memory recall by quickly activating the alpha brainwave state. So here is what you do to make this triggering mechanism yours. Keep in mind that this will require a few meditation sessions to fully internalize the procedure. Step one, go to your level using the three, two, one method, as was covered in the alpha centering technique video. By the way, quick note here, I created a Silva Techniques cheat sheet, which covers all the techniques we've covered so far in a quick and easy PDF. So feel free to grab that. The link will be in the description and pinned comment. Step two, bring together the tips of the thumb and the index and middle fingers on either hand. Don't keep the fingers pushed tightly together, but rather use more of a circular curved shape as shown here. Step three, while you are doing this, say to yourself, either silently or aloud, the following. Whenever I join my fingers together like this, I will instantly reach this level of mind and I will remember everything I need. Step four, do this every day for about a week using the same process and the same words. As you practice this, you will soon find an association with putting the three fingers together like this and reaching an effective meditation level. This will cause your mind to adjust to a deeper level of awareness and stronger programming of information, which will result in easier recall of information. So after practicing this, if you find yourself in a situation where you just can't remember something, realize that you now have a way of triggering recall. I can say from my personal experience with the technique that it is definitely worth a try. I've been practicing it and I'm finding that it is definitely helping me with memory recall when I put my intent on using it. Jose Silva gives some other examples in the book of how this was used effectively. He gives an example of a teacher using it with the kids in her class and how she found great results specifically with her students' spelling test scores and how the students learn multiplication tables much faster than average. Another example he gives is of a taxi cab driver who would use the technique to remember how to get to the various areas his passengers wanted to go, even if he hadn't been there in some time. He found that with his three fingers together, he relives the last time he drove there and is able to remember the route. I read about another study conducted at Appalachian State University where 15 students were given a 15 minute lecture on this technique before their final exams. The results were nearly 87% of those students felt less anxiety before the exam and they felt more confident for the exam itself. So try this out and think about all the ways that you can use it. Here are some more examples. 
while you are learning something new. When you want to recall something you can't remember. When your significant other or boss is telling you something important that you don't want to forget. While you are taking a test, I've been using it to have the right thing to say when I'm communicating with someone and it seems to be working great. Feel free to add some of your own examples in the comments. I'm definitely going to continue practicing this technique for myself. I hope you try it and find as much value in this technique as I have. As I mentioned previously, I thought it would be helpful for you all to have all of the silver related info we've covered in these videos put into a cheat sheet, so I've created a PDF. Feel free to grab it. The link for the PDF will be in the description and the pinned comment. But before you do that, please give a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you very much for that. As always, stay tuned for more videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.